day while I am watering, I am praying and just asking God to speak to me today. And then the, not the last thing I do, but the final like round of my morning is to sit down with my coffee and my Bible and all my highlighters and just dig into his word. And I don't have a time frame on this. That's why I kind of do it last-ish. But I still try to do this before I get on any social media or anything like that. Although this morning I have been doing my morning routine on my stories. So that's not true for today. But most days um, I end this time with a picture of my Bible to just like keep everyone like accountable. Like, hey, did you do your reading today? Um, and just, just kind of steal, seal my time with the Lord. So I have my coffee, I have my word, and I'm going to dig in. I'm done with the reading portion and what I do is I just read one page a day right now I'm in the Gospels I'm in the Gospel of Luke <laughs> and I just go through and then I find one scripture that stands out to me and I had gotten this I think for Valentine's Day and it's aspire inspired to grace prayer journal and this is what it looks like on the inside so it has a place for your, your scripture a reflection on the scripture, a prayer, and then gratitude. So I go ahead and fill this out after, according to what scripture stood out to me today. And then the gratitudes, I just, whatever's on my heart to be grateful for, I write it down. I usually just write down, like, a list. I write down, like, five or six. So I'm going to do that. is I get out my journal and this is where I write my intentions, kind of my mission statement type things, things like I'm an excellent mom, I'm an exceptional wife, things that I want to be true but might not necessarily be 100% true yet but it's things I'm speaking over myself to just help me move forward and know the direction I want to go. I have things in here like I have bought five acres of land and built my dream home. Um, things that honestly if I read them all to you would embarrass me. Um, so <laughs> that is my dreams and my goals and I write them out every day. And then I get out my planner. I'm still using my bullet journal. And what I do is I have a weekly task list and then I have my daily stuff. So obviously in quarantine, the schedule has gotten lighter, but basically what this means is if it needs to be done on a certain day, it gets written in the daily. But if I just want to get these things done, I just write it in the task list and then every day I look and like, okay, I could check that one off. But I found my days were getting flooded with to-dos and I wasn't accomplishing them and I was going to bed like, what the heck? And some of them didn't need to be done on Monday. I just wanted to. So now I have, I can brain dump everything I want to do. It goes in my task list. Everything I need to do daily, like different appointments, meetings, things like that, go in my day. And then if I don't accomplish what I wanted to do in the week, it rolls over to the next week and I have more time to do it. It just has given me a win because I don't feel like every night I'm going to bed like, shoot, I didn't do this, this, and this. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. Like it, I lived in the land of tomorrow. Everything was rolling over to tomorrow. When I just, I wanna get this stuff done. When I have the time, I open up my list and I get stuff done. And I look at it every morning to be like, okay, I could probably do that and just kind of prepare my brain for that task or event. And then I look at my day and see what do I need to get done today. Today's the only day I have to do it. So, write out my intentions and my goals, 
and then I look at my planner. Now I kind of prep for the night, my night routine, and I write gratitude and moment to remember, and I stick my pen in here, and that is for me to fill out this evening. Before I go to bed, I like to write out what I'm grateful for through the day, and then something that just stuck out to me that I want to remember. This is new. I just started doing this um, in quarantine, so then I put this away, and I go ahead and look at my calendar and then after that I do some stuff for my coaching business I do things like <clears throat> get posts ready to go text clients see how they're doing um, and just some business and stuff that I do for my coaching business so after I look at my calendar I go ahead and I work on that and I'm not gonna show much of that just because there's names and things like that that I just don't want to share so um, I work on my business and then try to get my coffee and my water done and after I work on my business I usually go in and honestly I watch YouTube I take about a half hour watch a couple of videos that I want to watch um, I've been watching homesteading videos I will watch sermons um, different vloggers that I enjoy just something to kind of like I don't know learn grow in a way or just be entertained for about half an hour and then I get in the shower Usually by this time, Brad is up doing his Bible study. All right, so after we do school, we usually eat some lunch and then have some free time after that. And we'll that, mm, I'm gonna take Fortnite away forever. But I hope you enjoy this morning routine. Yes, we are in quarantine, but I still think we could be productive. I still think. Look at that. Look at that wisdom. No, it's like growing. It's losing all of its luster. Yeah. It's tender. <laughs> But Anyways, hope back you guys, to your story. Back to my story. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this morning routine. I hope it inspires you in whatever way. Let me know what you do in the morning that makes you feel most productive. Um, to be in all fairness and honesty, it's already like one o'clock. Uh, twelve. Twelve twenty. So. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to put that there. So. I start my morning around 6 a.m. and my morning routine ends around noon-ish. So we'll usually do school until about, well, whatever. It takes a couple hours and whenever we're done with school, we do lunch. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, join our tribe. We'll see you next time. Bye!